good evening from a very dark and cold and rather miserably windy <laughs> South Devon. But hey, it's winter. It is what happens. It is natural and it's all good. And today is day 12 of the 15 day um, mindset goal setting habit shifting um, challenge that I've set up. And fun fact for today, because it's Friday the 13th, is that the 13th Friday specifically is only unlucky if you are a Knights Templar. Now, if you've not heard of the Knights Templar, they were the Knights of Christ, as they called themselves. Um, they were the knights that were employed by the church during the Dark Ages, um, so around the 1200s, I think it was. Um, and it was them who were tasked with um, protecting, that's the word I want, the, the church and all the riches. Um, basically, the King of France got a little bit sick of the Knights Templar and ordered them all killed secretly. And they were all murdered in their beds very, very early in the morning on a Friday, which happened to be the 13th around the 1200 and something. So unless you are a Knights Templar, Friday the 13th is just a myth. Okay. But today's topic <laughs> um, on a slightly less random note is getting in flow, finding your flow. So the concept of flow refers to a state of heightened focus and immersion in activity. Um, and the first sports person that comes to mind when I want to give an example is Lewis Hamilton. Um, currently drives for Mercedes in the Formula One. He often speaks about he was just in flow. He got in a good flow and everything was just easy. It was effortless. It's just effortless control and enjoyment at the task in hand. Um, so researchers have found that experiencing flow can lead to increased creativity, productivity and overall well-being. Finding your flow is different for everyone. And it can be achieved through different activities in sports, creative endeavours and work tasks. So for me, I love it when I am on the sewing machine and it just works. It's just effortless. The thread stays on, the needle stays threaded, the needle doesn't break. All the little stitches and all the seams and everything, just they just go and it's just, it's bliss, it's effortless, it's enjoyable. Granted, there are other days when I want to throw it out the window. But, hey, can't be good all the time. If it was good all the time, how would we know it was good? So tips on finding your flow. So first off, find activities that you find enjoyable engage and engage in them regularly. So hobbies, um, anything you enjoy doing, really. Number two, experiment with different tasks and activities to see what puts you in a state of flow. So for me, sewing or drawing or cycling, um, anything like that, I can just get into a flow state. Not all the time. Um, number three, set clear and challenging goals for yourself. So you need a clear sense of purpose to help you focus and become more immersed at the task at hand. Um, eliminate all distractions. So find a nice, quiet place to work or make sure you have everything that you need so that everything is within arm's reach. Five, practice mindfulness. So be present in the moment that you're in. As I've said before this week, that doesn't mean going sitting under a tree and meditating for half an hour a day or three hours a day or anything. Mindfulness is just being aware of where you are right now. And number six, be open to try new things and step out of your comfort zone. So flow state can often occur when you're doing something new and challenging. And finding your flow is a personal journey and what works for one person might not work for another. So it may take some experimentation to find activities and strategies that will help you achieve your flow state. But how do you know when you're in flow? Um, I've come across in my research this week six signs that you may be in flow. So a feeling of complete absorption in the hot task at hand. A sense of effortless control over the task. So you're fully engaged, you find it easy to focus and make decisions. You're enjoying it and you're finding pleasure in the task that you're doing. Um, you have a feeling of heightened creativity and productivity. You have a feeling of self-awareness and self-esteem. It makes you feel good, it makes you confident. And 
the sixth one I found was a sense of transcendence. So a feeling of being in a different state of mind and feeling. Again, it is important to note that flow is a personal experience so that one person, what one person feels in a flow state may differ from another. So pay attention to your own feelings and your own sensations when you're engaged in an activity to determine if you're in flow. So I hope that helps. I hope you have had an awesome day wherever you are. Um, I hope that you are enjoying the challenge. There's only three days left now. But I have a new challenge starting at the end of the month on the 30th. And I've also got a free webinar happening next Tuesday, which will give you an insight, or further insight into goal setting and achieving. And also this week or next week on Thursday, I have a free prize draw in which you can win the opportunity to have six months worth of free access to my coaching course that I facilitate for the Proctor Gallagher Institute. So thinking into results, if you've heard of it, is amazing. Sim plain and simple. It is just phenomenal information that will literally turn your ni- turn your life around. And you've got the opportunity to win it for free. And that's valued at around six thousand dollars US dollars. So enter the prize draw, come and join me on the webinar to find out a little bit more about thinking into results and also about goal setting. That's happening on Tuesday uh, around about this time. Um, Other than that, like, share, comment, do all that good, wonderful social media stuff. And I will see you right here, roughly this time tomorrow. Have a lovely rest of your evening. Tati bye.